بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ This is the lecture one of CT253 Mechanics of Structure Today's topic is stress and strain If you want to define a stress, what is the stress produced in the bodies of metal and non-metal for example concrete steel RCC every material which is elastic in nature faces the stress that's why whenever some external forces system of forces acts on the body it undergoes some deformation deformation means change in shape shape means change in length change in length and breadth change in volume that is three dimension in three dimension every maybe change every every uh, in every dimension or in a single dimension as the body undergoes the deformations it set up some resistance to deformation this is the quality of the body some body resist more and some bodies provide less resistance against the external system of forces this resistance per unit area of the deformation uh, to the deformation is known as the stress Now come to the next <clears throat> mathematically stress may be defined as the force per unit area that is P upon A here is the P is the force and A is the area unit area or area total area the units of the measurements may be pounds per square inch kilogram per centimeter the square centimeter Newton per square centimeter, Newton per square millimeter, etc. Now we are talking about now strain. The deformation due to the stress per unit length is called the strain. Mathematically, strain may be defined as the deformation per unit length is called strain. This is the strain mathematically. Change in length divided by total length. This is the quality of the strain that has no unit of measurement. Because in numerator the unit of measurement is length and in denominator the unit of the measurement is length. So a strain has no unit of measurement. A unitless quantity. Now we will talk about the stresses and strain. There are many types of stresses but two types of stresses are important. From the subject of point of view, number one is the tensile stress and number two is the compressive stress. Now we are dealing with tensile stress here. Tensile stress when a section is subjected to equal two equal that is you can see here the body is here and the two equal forces P and P is here and opposite direction that is like uh, you can see here the opposite direction pulls this is the pulls as a result of which the body tends to lengthen that is increase in length a stress induced is called the tensile stress and the corresponding strain is called the tensile strain this is the compressive stress here the direction of the forces has changed two equal and opposite pushes here are the pushes you can see here 
it is the pushes in stress these are the pulls and in compressive stress these forces are pushes and equal in magnitude a result of which the body tends to shorten the length of the body will be shortened like this for maybe it is look like here and it is after the impact of complete these two forces it may be shortened in this color its length induced is called the compressive stress and the corresponding strain is called the compressive strain thank you very much assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh